Hello, friends. I hope everyone is having a wonderful time so far. My name is Mrs. Jubel, and I'm so happy to be here. We have a wonderful lesson for all of you. But before we start, let's call our friend Sammy. Yes. Are you guys ready? Let's count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. I love it. <laughs> Let's try it again, really? Ready? One, two, three. Sammy, 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 Sammy. Aki. Aki. That's here in Spanish. <laughs> One last time, guys. Come on. Really loud. He has to hear you really loud. Okay, ready? Count of three. One, two, three. Sammy! 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 Hola! <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Sammy, how are you? I'm good, Mr. Phil. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy you're here with us. Everyone say hi to Sammy. I'm so happy to be here with you. We're happy you're here. Well, are we gonna sing? Yes, we're gonna sing today. Uh, Mr. Phil? Yes, Sammy? Can we sing Waymaker? Yes, Waymaker. Yeah, we talked about how we were gonna sing. And we're gonna sing today your song, Waymaker. I like that song. It's a beautiful song. If you know it, sing it along with us, okay? Yeah, sing it with us.
Wow, that was beautiful, Sammy. Oh, he's awesome. My maker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Sammy, thanks for taking the whole song today. Yeah, I thought you were going to sing with me. I was, but then I remembered I wanted to save my voice for today's lesson. So thanks for doing all the singing. Oh, uh, you're welcome. I have a question for you, Sammy. Yeah. Do you know who loves you? Uh, yeah. Who loves you? Uh, my mom, my dad. My sister, Dorothy. Yes. Uh, God, of course. Yes. And how do you know they love you? How do you know your mom loves you? Uh, because she, uh, she makes me breakfast, she washes my clothes, and she gives me hugs and cuddles. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah. And... My dad, he plays with me, and he wrestles with me, and I beat him every time. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, that is awesome to know. Yeah. Most of the people, or a lot of the people in our lives, they love us just because of who we are. Yeah. Yes. That's called unconditional love. Unconditional love? Yes. And that's the same love God has for us. Wow. God loves us so much. His love is so, so big for us. Wow. Yeah, you know God loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Oh, can I sing that song next time? Yeah, sure. Hey, we might have a guest next week, too. Oh, really? <laughs> Just maybe. Well, Sammy, for today's Bible story, we're going to talk about a person who was healed by Jesus. Wow! Another healing story! Wow! Yes, God, Jesus showed her his love. Wow! Nice! Yes, today's Bible lesson is from the book of Mark. Oh, I like Mark! Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. So, tell me the story. The story begins with Jesus and his disciples. Once again, they were preaching. They were healing. People were following him. Oh, nice. I, I, Jesus and his disciples were really working, huh? Yes. They wanted to spread the good news, and Jesus was doing a lot of healing and talking about the kingdom. Wow! But you know what? What, Israel? There were some people there in the crowd that didn't really like Jesus. They didn't? No. They thought Jesus was lying, and a lot of times they, they not only thought he was lying, but they were a little afraid of him. Really? Afraid of Jesus and calling him a liar? That's not cool! No, it wasn't cool at all. So Jesus had to leave that certain place, that land where he was at. So he got on his boat with his disciples and they crossed the lake. Oh, wow! So when they got off the boat, there was already a crowd of people waiting for him. Really? Yes. People always wanted to be where Jesus was. Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, Jesus, 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 pick me, pick me, heal me. Yeah. The Bible says that this man came to Jesus, fell down on his knees. His name was Jairus. Jairus? Yes. And he told Jesus, my daughter, she is very, very sick. You have to come and touch her and heal her. So Jesus agreed and he began to follow this man along with the disciples. Oh, wow! So like I said before, there was lots and lots of people with Jesus. And the Bible says that there was this lady 
in the crowd. A lady in the crowd? Yes. This lady was very, very sick. What was wrong with her? Well, she had a condition in her blood. She was bleeding. The Bible doesn't say where from where, but she had been bleeding for 12 years. 12 years? Bleeding? Yes. Wow, that's so sad. Yes. And she had gone to all the doctors. She had spent lots and lots of money trying to find a cure for this, this, this sickness. But she didn't get a cure. She didn't find a, uh, a cure. Oh no! So when she saw Jesus, she thought this was her chance. Really? What did she do? Did she yell? No, actually, she didn't do that. Oh! The Bible says that when Jesus passed by her, she touched his robe, his clothes. She touched his clothes? Why? Because she thought in her mind and in her, in her heart, maybe if I just touch his clothes, I'll be healed. Really? Just by touching his clothes? She thought she could be healed? Yes. And you know what? You know what happened? What happened? She said in the Bible, it says that she instantly felt healing. Really? Really. Wow! Then what happened? The Bible says that Jesus was kind of like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Somebody touched me. Really? Yes. Then the disciples told Jesus, Jesus, what do you mean? We're surrounded by lots and lots of people. Of course, someone's going to touch your clothes. Right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But Jesus replied, no, I felt power come out of me. Wow! Power! Yes, he felt power come out. So he was just, Jesus was wondering who touched him, and he was kind of looking around in the crowd. And then this lady comes out from the crowd, and just a little, kind of like a little shy and a little scared, sort of kind of goes, It was me. I, I touched you. Yes. Then Jesus, you know what he tells her? What does he tell her? He tells her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Wow. He says, go in peace and be healed of your disease. Ooh, that gave me goosebumps as well. I know, right? Oh. Yes, this lady had been sick for so many years. 12 years? That's, that's more than my age. Yes. But she, you know what she had? What did she have? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know this one. I know this one. What did she have? She had faith. Yes, she had faith. She believed that Jesus can heal her. Wow. And that's exactly what happened. Wow, I do know. That's pretty amazing. It is. And you, want, you know what? God, Jesus is the same one today. He can heal? Yes, he can heal us. If you're sick, he can heal you because God is powerful. He is powerful. He healed my awalik. That's right, he did heal your abuelita. Yeah, I prayed and, and I prayed and, and he did. That's awesome. Yes, God is powerful to heal. He is powerful to do all these miracles. Wow, oh, you know, that's an amazing story. Yes, Jesus loves us and he wants to heal us, not only from our sicknesses, 
but there's another sickness that we all carry. Really? I don't feel sick, Mr. Well, well this sickness is called sin. Oh, sin? Wait, what's sin again? Well, sin is when you do something that you shouldn't, something that's wrong. Oh. But Jesus forgives us. And he takes away that sickness, that disease, that sin. Oh, because Jesus died on the cross. Yes, that's why. Because he died on the cross. Wow. Oh, and if I say sorry, he takes away sin? Yes, he swashes it away. And you are clean like snow. He washed it right as snow. Yes. What is your help? That's a beautiful, beautiful lesson. It is. Can we say our Bible verse? Yes. Are you guys ready for our Bible verse? All right. Well, let's ask Alan. He's going to be helping us today. Oh, Alan! Alan, where are you? Alan, Alan, where are you? He's around here somewhere. <laughs> Alan is cool. He's my friend. Mom. Oh. There he is. Hi, Alan. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, hi, Ellen. Hi. You ready for the Bible verse? Yeah. Yeah! All right, friends. So today's Bible verse is found in the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 34. And it says like this. I'll say it first, and then you guys will help me say it underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah! All right, it says, He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed from your disease. You said that in the story. Yes, those are the words that Jesus told this lady. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. We're going to go underwater. Oh, underwater. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to say it underwater? Get your yeah. fingers. <laughs> All right, so everyone say, he said <laughs> to her. <laughs> Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Mark 5, 34. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ellen. That was great. Yeah, thanks, Ellen. <laughs> you yes. Can I pray? Of course. Everyone, pray with me and Sammy. Close your eyes where you're at, and let's give thanks to Jesus. Okay. Mm, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. Because you're so good you're so good and you love me and you love me like so much like so much thank you because you are powerful thank you because you are powerful and because you died on the cross and because you died on the cross to take away my sin to take away my sin thank you thank you in your name in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That was a pretty long amen. I know. Wasn't it cool? Yeah, it was fun. All right, Sammy. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I had fun with you. Yes, we had fun too. Well, everyone say bye to Sammy. We love you. Bye. So for today's arts and crafts, we're going to be creating this beautiful heart that says Jesus heals. So you're going to need two pieces of paper. Go ahead and pick your favorite color a pencil, a marker, some glue, scissors, and hopefully you have these in your first aid kit, two band-aids, okay? 
So you're going to grab the first color, the color that's going to be the heart. And you're going to draw out a heart, okay? So medium size, not too big. Kind of like that. Go ahead and cut that out. Careful with those scissors. Cut, cut, cut. A little heart. All right, there it is. Next, you're gonna grab your other paper and you're going to place the heart right in the middle. With this paper, you're going to draw an even bigger heart, okay? So that's why I have you put the heart in the middle and you're going to trace, don't trace a little heart, you're going to make another heart, but a little bigger, okay? So let me just show you what I mean. Like this. See? It's a bigger heart. You're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna cut that big heart out, okay? There it is. Take your time. And if you're around your brother or sister, make sure you guys give each other enough space when you're cutting, okay? All right, here it is. So now you have two hearts. You have a really big one and you have the smaller one like this. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your, your glue and you're going to glue the little heart onto the big heart. Okay. Put some glue all over. Sticky, sticky glue. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and put it right in the middle like this. That looks nice. Oh. Just like that. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your band-aids. Go ahead and open the first one. And this one, it's gonna go like this right across. You're gonna grab your second band-aid. And this one's going to go right like this. And it's gonna make a cross. All right. So now you're gonna grab your marker and you're going to write out Right here on this side, we're gonna write Jesus. So go ahead, J-E-S-U-S, -S, like that, Jesus. And then on the other side, you're gonna write heels. Heels. Just like that, Jesus heels. All right, we're not done. Okay, next what I want you to write are things that Jesus heals us from. So in, the, in, the, in today's story, we talked about how Jesus healed this woman's disease. So we can write here in the heart, disease. Okay, D-I-S-E-A-S-E, -S -E, right? <laughs> disease like that. Jesus heals us. He heals our diseases, right? What else can Jesus heal, heal us from? Think about it. What can he heal me from? He'll heal you from sadness? Yes. You can take away that sadness in your heart. So you can write here sadness. Sadness, like that. What else? How about angry. How many of you get angry sometimes? Doesn't feel good to have anger in our heart, huh? Well, God can take that away from you. He can get rid of that. If you just ask him. So let's put here anger. 
Hmm, what else can we think about? How about loneliness? How many of you have felt lonely before? I know I have. But are we really lonely? No, God is always with us. So let's write here, lone, loneliness. 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 Or alone, you cried alone or loneliness. Okay, so those are a couple uh, of words here, a couple of things that Jesus heals us from. If you want to write more, go ahead. You can fill up the whole heart if you like. So here it is, you guys. I bet yours looks amazing. So once again, if you create this beautiful heart, go ahead and, and tag me on it. We have the hashtag there. And if you send me, a, if you post it, your name will go in a raffle and you will be able to get really cool prizes. So we want to see it and we want you guys to win. All right, you guys, so thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. You guys have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. I love you guys. Bye.